all right so this is the last part of the lecture yeah so uh, in this part uh, we're going to discuss the idea of individual differences in using schemas and whether schemas could be uh, modified or not yeah so even though we have uh, we have similar uh, mechanism how we organize information yeah in our mental processes we use those information differently yeah so what makes us different is that uh, several concepts in social psychology that are also prominent uh, to be investigated in many research and the first concept that I'm going to introduce to you is that attributional complexity yeah so people could be very in the complexity of their explanation of others some people would be would tend to be very simple and easy to judge people to give um, evaluation <laughs> yeah to to other people but some people would uh, would choose to be more careful more cautious in making judgment about other people yeah you can see someone who is easily judging others without uh, with baseless with ba basically with baseless accusations but some people would tend to be more cautious and careful in making inferences about other people yeah and that is also uh, not only uh, the degree of complexity could be different but also how people tolerate uncertainty yeah so uncertainty orientation would concerns on uh, the variation between people some people would uh, tolerate uncertainty better than the rest but some people are extremely certain even though they have uh, they have very little information to to make judgment to to make accurate judgment about other people yeah some people would say i don't know we're not certain about these people i'm not very confident in making judgment we need more information we need more data yeah to uh, make a conclusive uh, conclusive uh, evaluation about about others and some people would also vary in their need of cognition some people would be more uh, more satisfied in having very little information but some people would say no i need more information i need uh, to think deeply about things yeah so th this is why people who has higher need uh, for cognition they tend to be more careful and more cautious in forming an impression uh, but people who has higher cognitive closer for example they then they tend to be quicker in judging people and they tend to dislike uncertainty they tend to uh, they tend to have higher tendency they ha higher needs to complete the picture yeah to complete the big picture but some people who have high uh, lesser cognitive closure they would be more careful more elaborate in processing information so this is why people who has higher need for cognition they are not easy yeah they are not easy to fall uh, trap into thinking uh, that certain hoaxes yeah or misinform uh, misinformation uh, uh, to be true yeah but people who has higher or lesser need for cognition uh, um, uh, on the on the other hand they would be easier to fall trap into thinking that certain hoaxes could be true yeah and also uh, cognitive complexity yes yeah, some uh, some people would uh, choose to be more reflective not only reflective but they tend to use uh, more complex cognitive processes for example metacognition processes so they try to reevaluate yeah their own cognition their own thinking they think critically about their own uh, mm. own understanding about things but some people would be extremely um, uh, would be extremely certain about their position so they refuse yeah so they refuse to think critically about their position about their attitudes about their uh, about their comprehension and this is why some people could be different yeah could be different in using their schema yeah some people are uh, some people would be easier to adjust their schemas according new information that they gain but some people are extremely resistant to new information yeah it depends on those certain things mm -hmm. and uh, individuals are also different in using their schema depending on the availability of information the accessibility on of the information and whether those information is important to them yeah when it is important then of course uh, um, of course uh, some people would use schemas differently uh, depending on whether they think uh, those uh, information or those info uh, uh, those evaluation would be important to them or not and this last part is that uh, we're, we're talking about whether it's possible 
for someone to change their schemas. Yeah, it's possible, yeah, through different uh, ways, to different strategies. So the first uh, process, yeah, that often happens is that we accumulate, we slowly accumulate uh, evidence, then we change the schemas accordingly. So for example, if you think that people, in, uh, people who live in Rungkut uh, are unfriendly, yeah, are unfriendly and strict, for example, then when you do more intense contact, yeah, we do more intense contact, you interact with people who live in Rungkut uh, more intensively, and then those new information would slowly change your schema, yeah, would accumulate and slowly change your schema. So you would not less li you would less likely to think that people who live in Rungkut are, uh, are unfriendly, yeah? And it could be also conversion. So it's rather than accumulating, slowly accumulating evidence, you would massively, you would uh, suddenly change your opinions about things. You would suddenly change your schemas. So for example, if you are in a traffic accident, for example, then those who help you in, in those traffic accident, uh, uh, supposedly people who live in Rungkut, then you would, uh, uh, you would then massively change your opinion about people who live in Rungkut. They are not unfriendly as you thought before, but they are actually good people because they help you in the, in, in the traffic accident where you are the victim, for example. Or the third possibility uh, is that you, you're making a subtypes category where you might think that, okay, yeah, Rungkut people are unfriendly, but I met someone come from Wonorejo, which is Wonorejo is a part of Rungkut, yeah? They are not that unfriendly. Maybe the rest of Rungkut is unfriendly, but people who live in Wonorejo is not that unfriendly, yeah? So it, makes, it, it means that you're making new category, yeah? To accommodate contradictory information that happens in your cognitive processes. So rather than change it, yeah? Rather than change the schema, what you did, what you do here, is that you're making new categories, you're making new boxes, where you put anomalies inside those boxes. So this is uh, something that we refer to as subtyping, yeah, subtyping processes. So that would be the last uh, part of this lecture. I hope that you find it useful. Uh, don't forget, if you have any questions, you can drop it in spreadsheet or in the group chat, or you can just meet me directly during the drop-in session. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching.